see up there. And then you see the little piece that sticks above, that's the shuttle plane. The driving force is the steam pressure. And the way that we control that to put it behind the pistons is by hydraulics. We set it up according to aircraft, the weight, the wind on the deck, as well as the temperature correction so that they can get off the deck safely. We have a water braking system up forward. That's what's going to stop the forward momentum. So basically those pistons, when they travel, they're going to hit a wall of water to stop. If we didn't have that, it'd be catastrophic. So we have an operator up there that monitors that pressure, as well as us, the panel operator, we monitor back. You see they're on, uh, their fuel state, the time that we got their fuel state, and then their profile. And the profile section is where we're actually keeping track of what's going on. So, for example, if you look at uh, kind of halfway down the screen, This is the uh, video system in the ship, these monitors all over the place, and it shows the flight deck operations. You want the plane to come in right in the middle of the crosshair. This is an F-18 come in with the took down. It didn't really make the crosshair. Pretty cool. This is the resting gear engine number three. This is the engine that our aircraft target when they're trying to land on the, on the carrier. Um, basically what we have here is basically a controlled crash. You know, of course, nobody gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, nine times ten, nobody gets hurt. Uh, she got here is, uh, what happens is, when the aircraft engages the wire across the flight deck, this big piston that you see right here, you come down. This big piston right here moves inward, and it pushes fluid through this big tank at 10,000 PSI. Once it goes through this big tank here, comes through this manifold up here, it's a three-point manifold. Fluid goes through one side and then fluid goes out from the other side. 10,000 PSI comes through here to this component here we call the zero O valve. The zero O valve is the heart of the engine. This is what stops the aircraft. What happens is as this fluid pushes through, this cam rotates as the wires gets pulled down the deck. It pushes all these metal components down. And down at the very bottom, you can't see it, there's a, a big stem down there. And once that stem seats and closes that hole up and stops the fluid from flowing, that's what stops the aircraft from the flight.